If you are looking for an easy step-by-step Swabian potato dumpling recipe, you're in the right place. Because in this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare traditional, creamy from inside and crispy from outside Swabian potato dumplings with sauerkraut and bacon. So to make our Swabian potato dumplings, you're gonna need potatoes, flour, egg, egg yolk, salt and pepper. Easy as that. This portion is for four people and you're gonna need around one and a half hour to prepare and cook it. To make things clearer for you, I divided this recipe into three parts. In the first part, we're gonna prepare the dumplings. Then we're gonna cook the dumplings and then we're gonna fry the dumplings. Remember that every tasty German potato dish starts with the right potato. For the potato dumplings we use starchy potatoes and they are essential to achieve this creamy consistency. So it would be great if you found some of those. I am preparing the dumplings from the jacket potatoes and I'm gonna cook them for 15 minutes in my pressure cooker. If you don't have one you're gonna need to use a normal pot and that's gonna take 25 minutes to cook. After cooking you need to let them to cool down a bit for about 20 minutes and then peel the skin. If you peel the skin before cooking you are ready to mash them. Next step would be to mash the potatoes with a potato riser and let them rest for another 30 minutes so all the water evaporates. After this time you're gonna take a mixing bowl and mix the potatoes with a flour, egg and egg yolk as well as salt and pepper. So this is when the potato dough is ready. After this we're gonna form 2 inch roll from the dough and cut it into half inch thick slices. You can then take each slice and roll it into a finger shaped noodle. The noodle should be around 3 inches long. If your noodles turn out to have a different shape, don't worry about it they're gonna taste amazing and it's all about the taste not the shape. After you're done with rolling your noodles are ready to cook. Take a large pot around 6 liter large and bring a salty water to boil. I would use um, around 2 to 3 liters of water. After the water boils turn the heat to low and add the Schupfnudel and make sure that they don't stick to the bottom of the pan by steering and let them simmer until they come up to the surface. At this point you can drain them and put them into a large bowl. You can also cover them with a kitchen tower and cook the rest of the dumplings in the meanwhile. As soon as you are ready with your dumplings you can start to fry them. For this take a large pan and melt the butter over the medium heat and in the meanwhile you can peel the onion and dice it. Fry the onion until translucent for around 2-3 minutes and then add the bacon and fry until crispy. Now it's the time to add the Schupfnudels and let them fry for around 3-4 to four minutes from each side. You want them to be a bit crispy and get a bit brown. At this point you can add the cooked sauerkraut and fry it for another few minutes until all the ingredients are warm and serve them immediately. Hope that that was easy recipe to follow. On our cooking blog, you're gonna find the written recipe with the photos that you can print off if you wish. I wish you all happy Friday and I see you on my next video on Sunday. Mm -hmm.